Sheffield Steelers taking on the Edinburgh Capitals on a Wednesday night. The fourth road trip for the Caps on a five-day visit south of the border. The Sheffield Steelers with Gord Baldwin and, of course, Ben O'Connor were ready, waiting and very much able on a Wednesday night. Heidelofsky in goal for the Caps. Big Frank in goal for the Sheffield Steelers. Here we go, folks. Important that the Sheffield Steelers got off to a good start. The Caps had been beaten in Nottingham the night before. It had taken the Panthers a while. Jayla Tulip went close. Early doors to put the Steelers ahead. It wasn't long before they were ahead. 5.43, in fact, when Hay and Baldwin set up Fretter. Here's Hay's shot. Is there a calmer man on the puck than Colton Fretter? I don't think so. Wah well, celebrates. There's Forney. But Fretta gets his first of a big night. Everybody else panics. He doesn't panic, does he? So calm around the net. 1-0 the Sheffield Steelers. Shortly after, 23 seconds to be exact, it was two. Hewitt and Eddie combined. Rod Savage playing up front as a winger with Ben O'Connor at the back end. Savage moves up front. He shoots, he scores. Second of the season for Big Rod. Nice finish as well. Hydalovsky trying to cover the bottom of the net. Rod goes upstairs. 2-0 the Steelers. And that's how it was at the end of the first period. A bit of pushing and shoving though. That Wally and Mark Thomas. Big Riley Emerson. He's a big man. Thomas gets a quick right hand jab in. And obviously a little quicker with the wit. Eddie and Wah also go and have a, a little chat. But that's how it was. Into the second period. And from behind the goal, rather fortuitous, Jade Portwood, who's coming back after a suspension, fires one off the skates of Mark Thomas, and he beats Frank Doyle. Two to one. Keep your eye on Tomo, 44. The puck just hits him. Frank's made the move across. You don't get more unlucky than that. Two one. But the Caps were back in it. And this is, of course, what the Caps do. Sheffield, could they extend their lead? Heidelofsky makes the big save on Matthew Waugh. Not for long, though. The Sheffield Steelers were soon back 3-1 ahead. Great play from Jonathan Phillips. Simple tapping from Tyler Masienko. 37-01. Eddie and Phillips with the assist. But what an assist from Captain Jonathan Phillips. Single-handed and then makes that pass across. Hodolovsky's in a different postcode. The Caps came back, though. Yarrowly. Fakes on the first shot, gets the second one away. Yarling makes it 3-2. Emerson gets an assist on that one. You see him here, fakes the shot, but then the rebound falls nicely to him. He shoots, he scores. 3-2 to go in at the end of the second. Or was it Ben O'Connor's pass to Mike Forney with just 17 seconds remaining in the middle period, made it a 4-2 scoreline. What a pass again, O'Connor. Finish, Forney. A 2-0 first, a 2-2 second. Into the final period. Sheffield would extend to three. Colton Fretter. Again, O'Connor picked up with an assist, so did Matthew Wilde. But what a finish from Fretter. Got his second of the night. Lovely pass out in front from Wilde. Fretter's finish. Game over, 5-2. Wasn't quite game over. A little bit of pushing and shoving. Jason Hewitt got involved. Riley Emerson came over to the Steelers bench. So you've picked on Thomas, now you pick on Hewitt. I think both of them will have the battle of the one-liners on you, Riley. But anyway, Emerson, protecting his team, came over for a 12-minute sit-down in the penalty box. Seemed quite a nice chap as well. Steelers uh, finished the scoring off. Had to be. Colton Fretter, hat-trick goal. Look at this, patiently waits for the puck to come out to him. It's like he knows it's going to come, and he does, and he goes top shelf, and he finishes hat-trick goal for Colton Fretter, 57-03. Watch him again, right-hand side of your screen. It's like he knows it's coming. Flicks it upstairs. So with 2.57 remaining, Steelers wrap up the scoring, six goals to two. Just a little bit of a push and shove at the final hooter. Matthew Wah getting involved. 
frustration. But Matthew Wires, far too experienced to get involved in that. Skates away, Steelers skate away with two more points. Good job, Frank Doyle. Good job, the Sheffield Steelers. A 6-2 beating of the Edinburgh Capitals. Hydalowski outstanding. The poor guy's faced over 200 shots on this road trip. He had another 50-plus on Wednesday night. Fretter, with his hat trick, was the man of the match. And you know what the man of the match has to do now? Has to do the Eddie. And of course, you've got to compete with Jonathan Phillips and Baldwin and all those guys. So this is what Fretter had for us. Have a little bit of a drink. Celebrates. And Colton Fretter does the Eddie and wins the Steelers Man of the Match award on a Wednesday after the Steelers had beat the Cap 6-2. Let's hear from Coach Jared Adams. Jared, congratulations. Back to winning ways and uh, a comprehensive victory tonight. It was good. I thought we were very, very creative. We, uh, we were very responsible in our defensive responsibilities, which led to the offense. And there's a lot of nice passing out there. I think the scoreline could have been a lot more for us if, uh, you know, got a few breaks along the way. But really happy with the guys' performance. Great to see Colton Fretter as well, uh, his first Steelers hat trick. Yeah, it's that whole line's been absolutely fantastic for us. And, you know, Fretter's a very good hockey player. He's got a you know, good sense around the net, and he's, he's, he's a sniper. So really happy when we get that hat trick. He's so calm on the puck, isn't he? Close in, a million things happening around him, and he just seems to be in slow motion. It's, you know, it's one of those things you can't coach or, you know, encourage people to be like that it's just kind of natural so again we're, uh, we're we're lucky to have him he's playing very well I'm happy for him. The Edinburgh Capitals have kept a lot of teams very close and that seems to be their game plan in, in recent uh, times it was important we got off to a good start and those two early goals. Yeah we needed especially that first one it uh, it could kind of really open the game for us you know it, it's one of these things where it, games like that can get a little bit grinding in the second period where they stepped up their play and we didn't so you need to be you know up a few goals against teams like that. Abundance of riches in certain areas as well Ben O'Connor comes in Rod Saric then moves up front just the thinking behind that? Uh, just to uh, you know try Roddy out at forward um, you know allow those six defensemen to kind of roll over you know Rod's played forward before and just get him a little bit of conditioning as well. Yeah nine games 21 days talk about conditioning the Steelers conditioning must be pretty good to come through that so well. Yeah, it's credit to the players, the way they take care of themselves, the nutrition away from the rink. Um, you know, the professionalism has been spot on by the guys, and I think it shows not only in the physical play, but the mental play. So we're really happy with that front. Just one game, of course, then this weekend, the whole Stingrays and more of the same. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, start, we'll enjoy this one for a couple mm -hmm. hours and get geared up for a haul tomorrow.